equivalent resistance values between the terminals A and B. So, we will calculate a few problems. So, the first question equivalent value of resistor between the terminals A and B. So, we are having the resistance values 2, 3, 4 which are connected as shown in the figure. So, if you clearly observe here the circuit is like this it is shorting these two terminals and moving like this and we know that resistor is always choosing the least resistance or the current will always choose the least resistance path. So, therefore, current will enter like this and it will not go to this 2 ohms resistor 2 plus 3 5 ohm resistor because we are having a zero resistance path here. So, it will prefer this way rather than this way. So, here the resistance offered by this current flow in this path is 4 ohms. So, the equivalent value of resistor connected across terminals A and B is 4 ohms. So, coming to this second question, here we are having this type of circuit and these are the two terminals A and B and we cannot take as in the previous case because here from 2 to this B terminal having one short circuit path and here it is in having three, another short circuit path. I am replacing so, how to solve this type of problems means we have through, to respect to choose its internal resistance these that points as short circuited and C measuring the current uh, and the D and place this like is this. This is my case number 3. A, B. These are so, the from the superposition point it is observed that and I am taking the current C, flowing through the 130 ohm resistor in so case between one A to is equal C, to between the algebraic C, sum we are having two case ohm resistor two and case three current flowing through the 130 ohm resistor. And from C to B, we are having short circuit connection. From C to B, we are having short circuit connection. And then from C to D, we are having three ohms resistor. C to D, we are having three ohms resistor. From D to B, 6 ohm resistor. From D to B, it is 6 ohm resistor. And here A to D, we are having a short circuit path. So, A to D, we are having a short circuit path. So, this is my new diagram when compared with previous diagram. And I am calculating here the equivalent resistance between these two terminals A and B. If we clearly observe here, this can be like this. And here this is the terminal of this and here this is the terminal of this. So, we can easily draw like this. So, I am writing again 2 ohms resistor like this, then 3 ohms resistor like this and 6 ohms resistor like this. As we know that this point A and point D are same, so it can be short circuited. And here this point C and the point B are same. So, I have shorted here and I am assuming this as a D and this as C. So, here this will be like this 6 ohm resistor is there between C and D. So, C and B is same then I can write between C and D it has 6 ohm resistor and A and D are same. So, I can write like this. So, from this these three resistors are in parallel connection. 2, 3 and 6. So, if we solve this 2 into 3 into 6 divided by 2 into 3 plus 3 into 6 plus 6 into 2. So, this is 36 by 36 which is equal to 1 ohm. And coming to this same phenomena A, B are there, C and D. So, if we calculate these, so same structure so A, B and this is C, this is D. So, between A and C a resistor of 4 ohms, between C and D a resistor of 12 ohms, between D and B resistor of 6 ohms and B, C shorted and uh, a, D also shorted. So, same structure as we have seen in the previous case. Then the resultant is now here 4 parallel with 12 parallel with 6. So, if we solve this, the value will be 2 ohms.